Hey guys, it is the Comic Cryptid here, and today we're going to be talking about the Lake Champlain Monster, also known as Champ Champy, or the Loch Ness Monster of the United States. Also, I'd like to apologize again for the bad audio. I'm in the process of working on getting a better system set up, and hopefully by the next video I can talk on a better quality mic than my earbud microphone. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. In Abenaki culture slash folklore, there exists the Gitaskog or Tatoskog. When translated, this roughly means great or big serpent. This beast is described as a horned serpent that lives underwater and is said to eat humans. Since this myth was created, it has often been tied to the existence of a similar lake monster allegedly residing in Lake Champlain and sometimes used to try and justify its existence. The European explorer Samuel de Champlain is often miscredited as the first non-native person to see the monster, which he described as some five feet long, which were as big as my thigh, and had a head as large as two fists, with a snout two feet and a half long, and a double row of very sharp, dangerous teeth. Its body has a good deal the shape of the pike, but is protected by scales of silvery gray color, and so strong that a dagger could not pierce them. However, it was revealed in 1960 that this sighting did not occur on Lake Champlain, but rather near the St. Lawrence River. Modern sightings of Champ began in July of 1819 when Captain Crum spotted a large black beast in the Buwaga Bay part of the lake. 1873 was a big year for Champ sightings, with a whole railroad crew sighting the creature and later that year being spotted by at least one other person, the county sheriff at that time. 1992 also gave us over 180 sightings of Champ with a total of about 600 people seeing him that year. The most recent sighting I could find was in July of this year, 2017, by a Champ search team. They captured video that I'm showing now, and personally I don't think it's anything special, but hopefully you guys can get something out of this. In my research, I couldn't find one agreed upon description of Champ in either size or color. Going off Captain Crump's 1819 report where he saw the creature from 200 yards away, Champ is said to be mostly black in color with a red belt around its neck and a white star on its forehead. Additionally, Crumb noted that it was about 187 feet long with a head like a seahorse. However, others have described it as being a lot shorter, like the sheriff I mentioned earlier, who thought it was 25 to 35 feet long. Others described Champ as being more silver in color, like De Champlain and more like a big snake than some sort of living dinosaur. If I had to guess though, most recent champ sightings probably followed De Champlain's misguided description of the sea creature, or at the very least, most people assume they know what a sea serpent looks like and base it off of something vaguely plesiosaur-esque. So if this creature is not a cryptid, then what is it? A lot of people believe that it could be a lake sturgeon. These types of fish are found in Lake Champlain and can grow to be up to six and a half feet long or over two meters. And according to National Geographic, they can live from anywhere from 50 to 100 years with usually females living longer. Also according to National Geographic, the Lake Sturgeon with its sleek shape and rows of bony plates on its sides look a bit, looks a bit like an armored torpedo. These freshwater giants have greenish gray coloring and a pointed snout with two pairs of whisker-like organs that dangle near its mouth. Also, with this being a sea serpent myth, a lot of people speculate that it could be some sort of living fossil, usually going with the standard plesiosaur, or possibly a zooglodon. There really isn't much to this theory outside of just the giant living dinosaur inside the lake who somehow managed to survive all these years. Anyway, here are some fun facts about the Lake Champlain monster. Champ is legally protected by both of the lake's bordering states of New York and Vermont. In Port Henry, New York, the first Saturday of every August is Champ Day. And in 1873, P.T. Barnum offered $50,000 for the capture of Champ either dead or alive for a part in his World's Fair show. So what is my opinion on this monster? Do I think it's real? Probably not. At least not as a giant dinosaur-like being living in the lake. I mean, there are crazy animals living underwater. But I think more of these giant creatures, if they exist at all, are probably living in the deep, unexplored parts of the ocean rather than a lake. 
With Champ, it's really hard for me to say they're plausible to exist as some giant creature, especially because there's not really a generally agreed upon description of it. Because of that, Champ can kind of just look like whatever someone wants it to look like, and it's easier to make intentionally false claims about it. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think and feel free to leave suggestions for a future video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more spooky, cool content like this in the future. Thanks guys and have a great day.